partnered up with Gossip Hair. My friend is actually the owner of the company and I asked him if he wanted to collab and he was so nice and said yes. And then when I asked him if he wanted to do a giveaway, he was totally down. He's such a sweet guy. This giveaway is also international. So I'm so excited to announce that you could live anywhere in the world and you have a chance to win. So here are the rules. I posted a selfie a few days ago on my Instagram, I think I posted it on Thanksgiving, of me kind of like with this hairstyle because this is how I wore my hair for Thanksgiving. And in that post I announced that I would be doing a giveaway with Gossip Hair. So what you need to do is go on my Instagram and go ahead and like this photo right here. Gossip Hair also posted the same selfie that I did so you'd have to go to their Instagram as well and like that photo too. On my posts all you have to do is comment by tagging a friend. You have a little more than a week to get your entries in so we will have that when announced for sure by December 10th on Instagram. I can't wait. I have not hosted a giveaway in such a long time. Okay, so enough talking. If you want to know how I created this hairstyle, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is brush out my hair. This little brush I got from TJ Maxx and I love it. I have naturally wavy hair, so what I did earlier was I just blow dried it with um, a round brush and that's it. I didn't go over it with a straightener, so this is all my hair right here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my Paul Mitchell heat protectant, just a little bit because I don't want my hair to get super greasy. Okay, so I'm going to just split my hair in half like this. So now I'm going to go in with hairspray. This one's from Matrix. I get a lot of compliments on this because it smells so good. So every time I do hair, I always bring it. And uh, I'm just spraying it all over. And this is so that when you're curling your hair, you don't have to spray it directly on the tool and it gets all sticky. So you want to make sure you comb it out so that the hairspray is on there evenly. So when you're curling this side, you want to make sure that your curler is facing down and you wrap your hair around the wand. After you curl every piece, make sure that you just let it drop and leave it alone and let it cool down because if you mess around with the curl while it's still hot, then your hair might get frizzy. So you wanna make sure until your hair is completely cooled down and then uh, comb it out. That's just like a tip I have for you guys. Look how cute that is. I have another curler I really like from Hot Tools too, but I haven't used it at all since I started playing with this. I went to a wedding two weeks ago with my business partner, Janet, and she doesn't really feel comfortable doing her own hair because she has a lot of hair and she had asked me if I could curl it and I was like, yeah, of course, but honestly, like we had no time. We were rushing. We were so late to the wedding, so I didn't get a chance to curl her hair. Um, so while I was getting ready, she used this curler and mind you, she has very long, very heavy hair and um, normally her hair doesn't hold a curl and all I did was explain to her like, just make sure that you're curling away from your face and she got it right away and she ended up really, really liking it. Something to note with this wand, it's just on and off. It doesn't give you an option to pick a temperature. So I would say that's probably the only downfall, but other than that, it's pretty amazing. So yeah, I'm not being very like organized here. I'm just kind of like picking up random pieces. So again, on this side, you want to make sure the curler is facing down and that you are curling away from your face. Like you're walking down the runway and there's like wind blowing in your direction. That's the vibe we're going for. Okay, so we've done about this much. Now I'm going to do another row of hair just like that. My hair is so weird. It's like it looks kind of thick, it feels kind of thick, but it actually cooperates pretty well and it's not as thick as it might so I finished my hair pretty quickly. So after I finish curling the hair that I just put down, I'm going to go ahead and add my extensions because that's what I do. I don't add them in the very end. I kind of add them like halfway through. four rows because I want my hair to be like really big so I'm gonna start off by brushing that out and I'm gonna start on the bottom 
and brush towards the top because that's the best way. And I love this brush too because it's perfect for detangling um, hair extensions. I'm going to go ahead and divide my hair, twist whatever I already have curled, and ah, there's an eyelash stuck. And place a pin to have it stick up. Okay, so earlier when I was waiting for my camera's battery to charge, I had the curler on top of my teasing brush and it totally melted it. It's from Conair and it's actually one of my favorite teasing brushes, but I think it'll still get the work done. So I'm just going to go ahead and tease my hair before putting in the extension so that it could stay there. I'm going to go back to clipping some hair up, but this time just a little bit, not as much as before, like half. Okay, so you're just going to repeat those steps. I have two more rows of extensions to put in. You can part it however you want, of course, but this is just my favorite way. to take this uh, powder play from Big Sexy Hair, it's amazing. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on the root, a little bit goes a long way, and then tease the root of the hair. You'll need to tease like a little bit, and I only go one, two, three. You can already see how big that is. Okay, Curly, you need to stop moving the camera, I mean Curly, lucky. Do the same thing on this side. What this powder play does is it makes teasing so much easier. Like, look at that. Ready? Do the same thing on random areas and tease. One, two, three, four, five. See? So now that it looks like that, now we can go over everything and actually brush it out so it doesn't look like you have little ringlets. And when you brush it out, it kind of just like turns into one big curl. Do the same thing on this side. Do it lightly so you don't brush out your actual extensions. Just like this. I'm going to brush this down. Take a little bit more hair. Just like that. So wherever you see like a little dip in your wave, get your clip and just place it right there. And I would just let that set, like go do your makeup. So I'm actually going to go retouch my face a little bit because I feel like I'm oily and do my lips and I'll be right back. That's what we wanted to achieve. Look at that, it's so fluffy. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how this came out. It's nice and full and fluffy and of course if you guys, you know, want it to be bigger, you can always go back in and tease certain areas just to make it a little bit more fluffier. Um, totally up to you. You can take this in different directions. You can also um, leave it how I had it earlier and not uh, comb it out so that you get these like huge Hollywood waves. You could also just keep it nice and beachy. I've done that as well. But I just wanted to show you um, a holiday look. I feel like this look is just so classic and will go with any outfit you choose, any way you do your makeup, especially if you decide to do like a red lip and like a wing liner, I think that this would look really pretty with that as well. So for everyone who's entering this contest, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to comment on why you'd like to win, and you have to go on Instagram and like my picture and Gossip Hair's picture, and then uh, go ahead and tag a friend. And this is an international contest, anybody in the world could win. So with that being said, good luck, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.